Hello, this is Hannah with Hannah Crafted Gifts, and I'm coming to you live tonight from my mess of a studio to be um, on November 1st to share some holiday cards. So these are alternatives from the Home for the Holidays, October 2023 Paper Pumpkin. I had to check my box. Um, if you didn't already see my unboxing, you can check that out to see everything that came in this beautiful themed box. Um, but I want to share a couple simple alternatives with you tonight. So which one to start with? Okay, I'll start with the one I started with. Um, so you can actually, you can see here um, the cards as instructed. And mine will look similar in some ways at first, um, but they're a little different. Hence alternatives. So here's the first one. And you might think that's just like it was instructed to be, just minus a few of the trees. Um, you can see what it was instructed to look like here. Um, it has the one big tree with the star on it in the middle, and it's missing the other little uh, tree add-ons. But the thing that makes this unique is I've created a little uh, like French door fold, we're going to call it. Um, so my my glitter glue on my uh, rooftops is still drying. <laughs> I just created this. Hello, whoever's watching live, please let me know who you are in comments. I'd love to know. Um, but you can actually open up the panels, which tuck behind the tree and reveal the rest of your kind of wood scene here. Um, and there's lots of space. You could stamp some additional messaging. You could write some additional messages on the back of the town here. Um, so all I did to create this was I cut this. This was one piece. The houses were all one piece that went on the card front. I cut it in half and I trimmed off. There was a tree in between these two houses. So I just trimmed right alongside both the houses. In fact, let me show you the piece I'm talking about. That'll make it make a little more sense. I checked the find it here. So I wasn't thinking ahead to do that. Um, but let me pull it out because then you'll know better what I'm talking about. So here is the piece as it comes in the kit. Um, so again, I just cut it right down the middle. It's five and a half inches. So I cut it at four and a quarter. Or sorry. Wow, that was wrong. Um, two and three quarters is right down the middle. And then I wanted to trim this tree out so that you couldn't see that. So again, I just like cut right along the roof line and down the red house and then right along the roof line and down the brown house. And so that's what you can see ended up here. And then I just scored a quarter of an inch in on both ends. And so that way I could fold those flaps back. And then, like I said, I just used the one big tree cause that fully covered my opening. Um, so it's hidden and therefore it's a little bit of a surprise. Um, and so you could use the other trees if you wanted to as well, but I found just that one was enough. Sorry, I'm being gentle because again, my uh, my glue is still drying. I love that glitter glue we got this month. That's usually not my thing, but I think it really does add to this kit. Um, so yes, yeah, so you tuck both uh, flaps behind the tree and there you have that first alternative. The next one is kind of similar um, using the other village pieces. And I, I don't think I'll need to pull these out to show you, but I'm getting ready in case I do. <laughs> um, so here's this one. The only difference you might notice right away on this one is it doesn't have the greeting on the front. And again, you could add that, but I'll show you why I didn't. Um, so once again, what I did is I created these little flaps so that the card opens up in kind of a slow reveal. And on the inside, I have the celebrate the wonder and joy of this festive season sentiment. But again, you could put sentiments on each flap as you go. The reason I didn't is because I wanted to be able to stand this up. So of course it would stand up because you know it's still a, a card with the inside, um, just like the other one is. By the way, I should have shown that. So you know, even though you have those flaps to open on the front, you still have the full inside for a nice big message or some more stamped um, images or sentiments. But for this one, I wanted you to be able to stand it up. So I actually put this tree, which was pulled from the other card. It's part of the reason I didn't use it there. Um, I put this tree up on dimensionals and I don't know if I know, mentioned that, but this tree needs to be up on dimensionals to be able to tuck behind. Anytime you want to tuck behind, you want to have, um, the piece you're tucking behind up on dimensionals to create that space. So since that's up on dimensionals, I can slide this front flap behind it. And not only does that continue my little row of trees here, but it creates this great way of standing the card up without even opening up the, the main card itself. And then when it was standing on a table, you'd actually be able to see the sentiment inside there. Hi, Sammy. Oh, I'm so glad you're watching. Um, I know you got this refill, so you'll be able to, to do this. You just will use your own stamps um, if you want to. So yeah, so now this stands up and you get the whole scene of the town. Um, and again, I think it's just fun to kind of open it 
one flap at a time and you could again kind of reveal different messages writing messages on here so you know maybe for family uh, or close friends that you want to send more christmas uh, or other holiday wishes to this year this um, gives you more space to do that and a, a little bit more of an interactive um, way of opening the card as well it's like a present that you're like unwrapping in stages so those are my alternatives for this month so far um, more to come perhaps as i get more into preparing for the holidays but Thank you for, again, joining me here in my mess. Um, looking a little bit of a mess tonight as well. <laughs> um, but it was good to be with you as always. And um, whatever you are doing, uh, getting ready for holidays or, um, or not, happy crafting to you. Um, please like this video if you did. Uh, comment and I'll try to reply. And the most helpful thing you can do for me is to um, subscribe and share this with others who you think would enjoy it. But again, I just wish you all happy early holidays and happy crafting.